Hello everyone, welcome again to a great day here at Jimra. My name is Fong, and with us for the first time today and ever is Tatiana. Hello. Today we're gonna do basically like we do every day, a total overall body from head to toe. So the level on this one, I would create it as beginner intermediate, okay? So of course, if you are more advanced, add on the weights, add on the reps, and we're ready to go. Okay, like always, let's start off first with a little warm-up, okay? okay. So in the first warm-up, all we're gonna do is just a little jumping jack in place. The breathing out is also very important. You wanna breathe out on the way up. Nice and steady pace. This is a warm-up, remember, you don't wanna go too fast, just enough to get the blood flowing and the muscles and the mind triggering, ready to do the exercise, okay? So in this one, we'll do about 20, 25 reps. It's all up to you. Go a little faster if you want, a little slow if you want. Just enough, that should be great. Second one, let's go with the little shoulder, okay? So just basically palms up. Give me a little rotation backward, nice and steady. Feel the traps, feel the shoulders. Breathe nice and slow. There you go. Uh, remember, you want to warm up and just lightly. This should feel good. It should not strain your shoulders, your traps, or anything at all. How do you feel? Good. Excellent. Next one, we're going to go with the back. We're going to stand on the side like so. You're going to round down, arch, round again, back and forth, back and forth like so. So basically, we're just trying to stretch out this part of the back here, the upper back, the mid back. There you go. Breathe out on the way up. Stretch on the way down and then contract it on the way up. You wanna go nice and slow. Just get your body moving, getting the mind to connect with the body nice and steady. It's a good way to get the legs going as well. Excellent. Almost done. Next one, we're just gonna do a little stretch on the side. So we're gonna take a step and reach, and step and reach, and breathe. So that way we're stretching everything on your sides, your triceps, your lats, all the way down to your obliques on the side, and of course, part of your legs as well. Just steady a couple of times each side, just get, like I said, get the body moving, get your mind strong, Let's go one more each side. You should never go into an exercise cold because what happens is muscles can cramp up. You can pull something as well. Excellent, shake it off one. We'll go one last one only to get the obliques going. Give me a light squat. You're gonna reach to the side and back and forth. So this one, we're basically tying everything together, okay? We got the legs going with the little iso. We got the obliques going with the twisting with transverse abs. A little shoulders and arms going. All right, all right. How do you feel? Great. Excellent. Just a little shake off. We're gonna start right away into the exercise. Okay, the first one we're gonna do is called a good morning. There are a couple of variations. One I like to do, you're gonna hold onto a weight that's comfortable for you right at the shoulders. And basically, if you lock out your legs and you bend, that's good, but I want you to be better by bending the knees a little bit and give me an upward pull. That way your back is always contracted and you're working on your glutes and your hamstrings more so. Breathe out. We're gonna go 15 reps. This is number two. So when you come up, you wanna focus on the glutes and the hamstrings, the back should maintain curved like so, okay? Try not to round down, then come up. That's a little bit too much on your lower back. Keep in mind too, she's going at a very focused pace, not too fast, not too slow, and her arms are tense right by the side. And breathing out, when you contract the muscles you're working on, in this case, when she's coming up, because she's contracting the glutes and the hamstrings. That's really good form. Some of you might like to do it with the legs locked straight, 
but the way she did it was perfect. Love that. Was that okay? Thank you. Excellent. I'll take those from you. Thank you very much. Next with that, we'll go straight into the next one, which will be your hamstrings. Go ahead and lie down for me on this one, facing down. Good. We're going to have one weight in between your legs, like so, your feet, so clamp it. So basically, you want to go all the way down and contract it as much as you can all the way up. Where's the focus here? Right at the hamstrings. So now, when she pulls up, that's when the muscles contract to do the work. That's when you breathe out. Okay, so this is three. And when you contract to do the work, four. That's when you breathe out. We're gonna go 15 reps in this one. Five. Now, if the weight's too heavy, where well, you can't really securely hold onto the weight, please lower it. Go at a steady state, just like she's doing, because she has total control. If you wanna go a little bit faster, do so, but always keep in mind, you have to have total control over your movement. Full range, all the way down, all the way up to hit each and every muscle fibers along the way. Okay, how are you feeling? Excellent, focus on the hamstrings, pull, breathe. And you also notice, well, the weight is not too heavy that her whole upper body is convulsing everywhere. It is perfectly maintained because we're focusing on the biceps. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'll take that. We're gonna do a side plank with a half jack, okay? So basically, you're gonna go sideways. The side plank is when you're here, and you're gonna reach. So you can go short, so easy. Make it harder by going straight, okay? So we're gonna go 15 reps each side. One, two, perfect control, three. Four. Notice her body is in a straight line down. It's not caving down or hyperextended up. And she's going at a very comfortable pace that she has perfect control. Her shoulders is right over the elbow, right over the wrist. It's not forward anymore. Excellent. Let's turn you over this way, switch to the other side. Excellent. And also her body is in a straight line this way. It's not curved back toward me and then forward. And then notice the neck as well. Some people strain their neck to go up. She's in perfect spinal alignment. Perfect form. Breathe out on the way up. That was amazing. All right, shake it off a little bit. You feel okay? All right, next one's gonna be a combo of moves, okay? so. We're gonna start here, hands straight up. You're gonna jump into a squat. Give me a forward, backward, jump up, and then down, outside, then down, outside, and again. Start all over, okay? And while I did it with the easy way, with no weight, she's gonna show you how to do it the right way, with a light weight. All right, so jump, forward, out, jump up, sideways. Excellent, that's one. Combo up, side, keep that arm up when you go side. Two. Excellent, three. So 90 degrees there, 90 degrees here. Four, perfect. We're gonna go 10 reps on this one only because as you can see, it's like every 10 you do, there are three within each rep. Perfect. And you notice as well, when she does her side step, it's not too far, it's not too narrow, it's a perfect shoulders width apart sumo squat. Beautifully done. That was amazing, thank you very much. Shake it off for a second, that took a lot of work. So, good, just give me a quick stretch down. Get all that back out. Good, now we got one more right here. We're gonna go up to the squat. We'll call this one the mini squats. Perfect posture here, I'll give you a little weight. We're gonna go down about 90 and just. When you come up, the focus has to be right in the butt and the hamstrings. You wanna squeeze it to pull it up, okay? 
So let's hold on the weight on the outside. Hold it in. We're gonna go 25 little mini ones on the bottom, not the top. One, two, and the breathing. Three, breathe out when you come up. Four, five, six. Focus on your quads here to come up, but squeeze the butt to push you up every time. And you notice her arms are not moving anywhere. Perfect posture here. Neck is neutral. By keeping it low, you burn out your quads and your glutes really good. You come up too high, you're taking a little break, that's fine. But we're trying to burn it out as much as we can. Nicely done. Well done, thank you. How do you feel? Yeah, great. Awesome, excellent. All right, we're gonna go right into the next one. So while we burn up all of that, let's hit the abs a little bit. So the next one I'd like for you to do is a boat into a crunch, okay? So in that one, we're gonna go 15 total, but again, maintain your posture, slow down on the form if you need to if you start to fall, okay? So you're gonna balance up on the butt only, and then kick out, one, two, really good control, three. So you breathe out on the way up, four, keep count, breathe, five, and then you wanna keep your abs tight on the way down. Excellent, you see her legs are kicked straight out, not touching the ground. That will engage your hip flexor psoas all the time. Remember, as you do all these exercises, it's a burnout every time. Breathe and pull, one, last one, hold it tight, out, and slow on the way down. Excellent. All right, the next one, we're just gonna combine both a push-up and the one leg lift, okay? So we're gonna face down, we're gonna do two push-ups, and then one leg lift, Two push-ups, one leg lift. We're gonna alternate back and forth on the legs, and we're gonna do a total of six counts. All right, let's see. Breathe on the way up. One, two, and lift. That's her right leg. One, two, lift. Left leg, perfect. On the lift, you notice the butt's not going up high. You just wanna focus on lifting that leg, okay? This is four. You just got one more each side. One, two, lift. Excellent. Two, and lift, excellent. So that one, of course, work everything on the upper body and because you did the lift, you got the squeeze on the butt as well. Okay, how are you? Good, we're gonna lie you down again. We're gonna work on some of the abs, okay? So go ahead, give me a lie down, head there. Good, now sideways for me, face the camera. We're gonna do a static side crunch and then we're gonna walk, 15 reps each, one, two, Three, four, five, count, six. Notice again, legs are off the ground. Abs really contracting on the side right here. And your breathing is just a little short pulses. You wanna burn it out. You wanna burn it out more, crunch up harder. You wanna burn it out the legs out more, go even wider. But that's the key. Everyone is different, every day is different. Excellent. Switch, hit the other side as well. So when you do it, focus on your, the weight, the reps, the range of motion. Okay, crunch, and one, two, breathe. Good, focus again. Abs are always tight. Legs are locked straight. That's really, really good. Good contraction. Excellent, very well done, good. Next one, we're gonna keep her on the mat here. We're gonna face you down. We're gonna do a set of superwoman, okay? So in this one, if the weight is too heavy for you, go ahead, face down for me, face on the ground. Don't use the weight if it's too heavy for you. So what I'd like for her to do is we're gonna do both just to show you. You wanna keep your legs straight, arms straight, and lift them up together at the same time. Breathe, one, two. She'll do 10 this way and then she's gonna drop the weight down to give you another 10, just so that you understand how you wanna contract. Breathe, and breathe, and done, good. Drop the weight. Now, no weights in this one, same thing. Hands only, legs only. Let's give them 10 more, okay? Lift, and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Excellent, excellent. How do you feel? As always, after that one, to give yourself a quick stretch in your back. Give me a child's pose, bend down real quick to get that back out, because you contract so much of everything on the back, okay? She wants to go right into the dolphin dive. One, we're gonna go 15 reps. Two, 
two, push back, stretch, and breathe. Three, good, get a nice movement. You wanna stretch it out in the lower back, the abs, come back, stretch the hamstrings and glutes. Really nice. And remember, everyone, you're all different. How high up you can go, how low you can go, but always go at the pace that's comfortable for you. And exactly how many reps you can do is up to you, but you do want a nice little burnout, okay? Rest right there for me. How are you guys doing out there? I hope you're doing great. Rest just a little bit. Next one, we're gonna burn it out. We're gonna face you down again, and we're gonna pulse with the legs, okay? So now go up on your elbows like so. You're gonna hold onto the weight for support. We're gonna go 25 reps, one, two. So basically she's keeping her legs outside and just giving nice little in and out pulsating. Okay, that I guarantee you, you do it. You lift up your legs high enough. Your glutes right here will burn and you're working really, really hard on something that looks so easy. And especially at the end of the workout, I guarantee you it will burn. And that's what you want. And then push a few more every time. Focus on your form. Very well done. Okay. Well done, everyone. We're gonna do a quick cool down stretch because you just did all of that with the glutes on the stretch here. Do this for me. Give me a nice child's pose. Good. One, two. So when you cool down, just do the movements lightly, slowly. Feel that stretch, feel good. And now up here, hold that. And now twist to the side a little bit when you do uh, the upward dog cobra. And stop, and now twist to the side. So when you go up again now, just give me a little twist to the side, a little twist to the side. There you go. That gets your obliques on the side, which you've worked very hard on with those side planks and everything else. Now go ahead and sit, face the camera that way. We're gonna do a little twist more. Cross one leg over the other for me. Pull the knee up to your shoulder and twist all the way back. As you do this stretch, you wanna feel the glutes right here. And relax. You have to relax your body when you stretch. You fight it, it's not gonna work. And you don't wanna strain yourself either. Good, switch legs for me. When you pull it up, twist your body in the opposite direction. So one, you get the glutes here, you get the shoulders, the back, everything. Well done. Now from here, pull it all the way in, give me a little Indian, pull it in, and force your legs down lightly. Good. Now we're stretching onto the inside, the adductors. And the last one, right from there, let's get one leg forward, one leg back, into a running stretch. Good, just drop the leg down. Reach it up slow. I'll show you this, keep that, keep that. When you reach up, you're stretching everything from the bottom here, the hip flexors, the psoas, the quads, and because you're reaching up on the same side, not the other side, you're pulling it again from the top. So you're pulling it from both directions. It's very straining, so go slow and feel good. Go ahead and switch for me. And breathe and relax. Remember, don't overstretch. You can surely strain it, and you don't want to do that, okay? Just nice and steady. Hope you guys are doing great out there. She is doing phenomenal. All right, let's get you up slow. Once again, everyone, this is Jimra. Thank you so much for doing the exercise. This is Tatiana. Please click like and request anything you want from this lovely, and she'll come back and do a lot more. Okay, now, when you wrap up the session, go do some cardio, do anything you like. But we have a treat for you today. See, Tatiana here is a professional break dancer. So she's gonna give you a little glimpse of what she's gonna do sometime from now. So for you, do anything you like, but I guarantee you, you'll love what she's about to do. So now I'm gonna leave, and the stage is yours. Thank
Thank you so much. That's it for now. Hope to see you soon. When you first log in, you'll be asked about your connection speed to ensure that you have the smoothest viewing experience. Click on Settings to adjust your connection at any time. On the Workout page, you'll find a difficulty slider that allows you to choose your fitness level. When switched to Show All, you can browse routines for all levels. To filter the level of difficulty, switch off the Show All button and adjust the slider. Once you've selected your desired level, Click on a category to see all the workouts available for that level. If you'd like to view our full-length routines, click on the Video Streaming tab for a selection of workouts in a variety of categories. To familiarize yourself with the app features, click on the Menu tab on the right-hand side of the screen to access the About page. Here you'll find information about all the app features. You can refer back to this page at any time, but if you still have questions that haven't been answered, we're here to help. Are you tired of looking for the perfect workout to fit your needs? And do you wish that you can just design your own sometimes? Well, now, thanks to Jimra, you can do just that. Click on the link in the description of this video below, and you'll be able to create your very own workout from over 6,000 exercises in every fitness level and including almost any kind of equipment that you can think of. This allows you to create a routine that fits your personal fitness goals. The Create Your Own Workout tool is only available on your computer for now, but you can save it on your computer and watch it on your phone later.